you're left with a 31 year old point guard and or 33 year old point guard and um, and uh, and Carl Anthony Towns. A couple more Twitter questions and we'll bail out. Uh, thanks for listening. Thanks to our producer, Brandon Morton. Thanks to TSR Injury Law, 612-TSR-TIME, TSRInjuryLaw.com, SodaStick, SodaStick.com, and Tony Hoagland, your State Farm agent in Champlin, H-O-A-G-L-U-N-D. Uh, again, if you'd like to advertise with us or host live shows, you can reach me at J-S-O-U-H-A-N-4-7 at gmail.com. Download if you can. Uh, a couple more Twitter questions. Will Patton get NBA minutes this season? I don't know um, because I don't know how that foot is going to respond. He's not, you know, he, he has been not doing anything all summer long again. And we all know that, that, that the summer months are when an NBA player gets the time to really work on his game, especially young players. Um, and so that's, that's a big loss. Uh, Tom Thibodeau said earlier this offseason that he's probably not going to play much in the fall, which means he's going to miss likely all of training camp. And so when you're talking about a second year player who has essentially missed all of the first two summers and all of training camp of his first two seasons, that's difficult. And I I do think that they are going to be extremely cautious when they do bring him back to try and avoid another injury to his foot. And, and so this is cause for concern in the Timberwolves organization, a big man with foot problems is not something that you want. And so, uh, especially again, once you get into the heart of the season, when maybe Patton might be a little bit more available, it, you're you're presumably in the thick of a brutal Western Conference playoff fight. And so, do you want to throw a essentially a rookie out there to to kind of learn as he goes? Uh, when the stakes are pretty pretty high, and so I, I I I I'm kind of of the mind right now where I'll believe that Justin Patton is a factor for them when I see it on the court. I think it's going to be a while for him as they kind of try and slowly work him back into it and and get him going. But I don't think that they're 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 counting on him being a contributor this next season. Last question of the show. Thanks to everyone who listens and supports TalkNorth.com. You can find all the shows at TalkNorth.com. Subscribe at iTunes, your favorite podcast app, uh, whatever way you like and download if you can. From Brian Garnich, I hope I'm getting your name right. Any cat updates? Not right now. He's back in California, back in L.A., um, working out and and getting ready for the season. Um, And I know that uh, I think Tibbs and Layden were out in California for a little bit, and then went to Vegas for USA basketball stuff. But I, I, as far as I know, there has not been the the meeting, uh, face to face meeting. I think that that probably needs to take place uh, and and have good conversations as they work out these contract ne- negotiations and parameters. Um, and so we're kind of in a holding pattern right now. And uh, how that how that uh, gets broken and how we get progress going forward. I, I'm not sure what's going to prompt that at this point. I don't know if it's going to be Carl and Tibbs sitting down. I don't know if Glenn Taylor's going to have to just go and say, hey, let's just talk this out the, much the way that he did with Andrew Wiggins. Um, but you know, we're in a little bit of a holding pattern here, which is kind of, I've said on this show before, leads me to believe that this is going to be, there, there's, it, I don't see anything happening in the next week. Like I don't think this is imminent. I think this is going to to drag on a little bit. I don't think Carl is worried about um, any injuries or anything and feels like he has to sign the deal right now, much like Andrew Wiggins last year. Didn't feel like he had to sign the sheet right in front of him in case he were hurt in workouts. These kids believe, rightly or wrongly, that they're kind of indestructible right now. And so um, there's there there are things that, that need to be talked about or talked there are things that need to be discussed, and as to my knowledge, they have not been discussed at length yet, and so we're, I think we're still a little bit of ways away of any kind of uh, finality, finality yeah. to, the, to the whole situation, yes. You can follow him on Twitter at, at John Krasinski. Spell it just like it sounds. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter at Suhan Strib. Find uh, John's work at The Athletic, theathletic.com. And I work at the Star Tribune. We both appreciate our subscribers and our listeners. Thanks for listening. We'll talk to you next week.